this layout is a pyramid layout. It is one that is where when an overall view of the situation is desired. An overall view. This is the heart. This is what is going on right now. Three cards for that. We have three cards for the past. Compass, come together. We have, first we have two cards for the past. We have two cards for the present. Encouragement, education. Sorry. Third card for the past, sad embrace. We'll just stick it right here. Third card for the present, details, details. First card for the future, solitude. You are a solitary person. You have no problem being on your own. Uh, making a choice. You will have a choice to make in the future. But right now it's okay to be stuck in the mud and stay put. It's all right to evaluate. Let's get deeper and see what they have to say. The first card is into the unknown. This is like trust. This is going on right now. Life is an adventure. New opportunities will arise. Sometimes you don't know how to deal with them. Just imagine. You are not only a pathfinder. You are a path maker. Trust. Trust in yourself. The next one we have is coming to life. This one is something beautiful is being born. When you look at yourself, can you see how you have grown? Can you see how you have evolved over time? Perhaps shed skins, identities. Let's get a little deeper. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. This is going on right now. All you have to do is show up. The last card of right now, what's going on, the heart, is moonlight. Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, and analytical. Follow it. Moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition. Your hunches are right on target. Stop second-guessing yourself. These feelings are a hunch, a tingling, maybe a sound or an animal, or something that crosses your eye, or catches your eye. It's, that's your intuition. That's your knowing. Follow it. Success is yours if you follow the signs. Let's go into your past. It's your past. We're not going to spend much time there, okay? The very first one we drew for your past was the compass. Generally, compass means you are always oriented to true north. Now, this is your past, and because it has a come together, a love, more or less, and a sad embrace, in your past, you were not truly oriented. Maybe you, you were a little lost. Maybe you, at some time, maybe you loved something very, very dearly. Anyway, you have lost, felt very deep, deep loss at a young age. It's not, it could be, and maybe you had a young love. 
it just could be that you've had so much loss in your young past life. The sad embrace is loss is a part of life. Let go and allow time to heal you. Growth is always assured. Whatever the loss, however great it is, let go and experience your feelings so that you may see the beauty in what lies ahead. Let's go to the present. The first one is encouragement. This one here is... See, how, see that little nudge? You're receiving a nudge in the right direction. You're being encouraged to step into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored. You're on the right path. Keep going. And our next card is going to be education. Let me grab education. This card suggests... Maybe you do not have all the knowledge you seek. Maybe now is the time to go to school. Maybe find a teacher or a course of study. You can cl more clearly understand your next course of action. Uh, be a student. Be willing to learn. The underlying part says, sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to unfamiliar school. Be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. Let's check out your details, details card. This is the last one drawn for your future. Let's check it out. Details, details. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When you see this card, it's time to finesse a project. Make small, meaningful gestures or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware, everything is in the details. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language offhand remarks, and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. Be aware that what you need to know is in the details. Let's go to your future. Your very first future card, like I said, is a solitude card. This just means you are comfortable in your own skin. You don't have a problem with being by yourself to replenish your soul. You'll be surprised at how, how things sort them out when you replenish your energy by giving yourself that much needed rest and time out. Maybe it's just that end of the day rest. You will have a choice to make in the future. How soon that is? That is totally up to you because it says it is okay for you to stay put, look around, observe, and enjoy your surroundings and the life you are making and creating. You will make your choice when the time is right for you. You're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. Slow down. Take a look around. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Spirit has a plan for you. And again, this is just a simple pyramid reading. It's a layout for when an, an exact timing is not necessary. It's just an overall view of the situation. So if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, share. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next video.